Welcome to Hana Talks Live TV. I'm Hana Gilman, your Relationship Mastery Mentor. The first thing I want to say is that I walked barefoot on wet grass to get here, and I highly encourage it. Oh, when's the last time you bonded with planet Earth? It feels so good. Anyway, here's what I want to tell you. I'm going to change the details a little bit, but this happened to me this week. Hi, Leah. This happened to me this week, and I wanted, Jill, hi. I wanted to share because I think it could be very helpful. I am part of a group, a team, let's say, and there's a team leader. And she's come back a week ago, and we knew, I, I'm new to this whole thing, but others on it said, oh no, she's not, you know, it's gonna be hard. Okay, I don't buy into stuff, I don't get into those conversations. Anyway, I was away for three days for the Sabbath and the Jew, two-day Jewish holiday, and I went back. And I, the first person I saw was her, and I was my happy self. Hi. And, hi. I say, how are you? I'm all right. I say, how's it been? How's, how's the project? It's okay. And she walked out. What I want to share with you is that I immediately tanked. Who does she think she is? I've been away for three days. Can't you say hello? Welcome back. Nice to see you. Hi, Carol. Nice to see you. Uh, you know, how was your time off? Anything human. And that took me down. I cannot begin to tell you. And the whole rest of the time that I was there, I was in such a bad mood. I hardly spoke to anyone. I started thinking, what do I need this for? Hi, Yehudi, what do I need this for? Get off of this. No one is, you know, you don't deserve that kind of treatment. Now here's the truth. I don't, none of us do. There are human um, etiquettes. You, I say hi, you say hi, I say how are you, you say how are you. <laughs> How was your time? I'm not asking for the wrong thing. But beautiful people, beautiful women, this is what I want you to get. You would take it and run. You would go home and call your mother, your sister, your best friends, anyone you spoke to. Can you believe this is what she did? I can't tell. What does that do? It creates momentum. You know how I've spoken about the car that goes down the hill. If it's got momentum of 100 miles an hour, it's gonna crash when it hits that tree. If it's going five miles an hour, it's a fender bender, maybe even. So what's the point? I didn't spend, while I was there, I was all about her. But the minute I left, my focus wasn't on her anymore at all. It was on me, it was why did, what, what happened there? I understood that my emotional platform crashed. Why? I understood, I gave my power away. Why? I understood that uh, it was all about me and had nothing to do with someone with a horrible personality. And there was nothing I could do or would do about it because I had to know the, and get my ego out of the picture. Now, there are people that have asked to transfer from this team because they, they won't accept that behavior anymore. They've worked with her in the past. I don't need to transfer. I can be me. The only person I spoke it with was when one of my sons called me that night. I told them what happened. We talked it out. I worked on my head, not hers. Do you hear this? Not hers. And the one major thing I didn't do, that I think most of you might do, is I didn't take the ax and chop, chop off one finger at a time. Honey, you're a coach. You're not supposed to ever feel like this. All the growth you've done is not, doesn't work. Well, how can you have clients? You're just horrible. Because this shouldn't be happening to you. You've got to, you know, 
you, none, nothing you've done for the last 10 years is working because look where you're at today. Right? I didn't go there because I understand today, and this is what I want you to understand, is when you do the work, it's not to never feel upset again or never be upset again or that life stop trying to flatline your emotional life. That's not life. Stop trying to numb yourself with your medication or drug of choice. Stop trying to pretend that it's never supposed to happen again. The growth is that it will happen again and you're different in the next go around. I didn't want to be that person that I felt at work. I don't want to be a Choose one to be bitter and one to get the lesson. Hi,